This show is presented by Toyota. The all new Prius Prime Electric Hybrid is more than Toyota's most advanced Prius. With purposeful design, ecotech, and breakthrough efficiency, it's the new possible. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where this year's Pepcom show at CES is football themed, which means I'm gonna put this to good use. It's game day. I'm gonna beat all of you, but you're excited. We're kind of pumped up right now. One, two, three. Okay. Okay. All right, go. We're at Prevent Biometrics checking out their headgear monitor that tells you if you've gotten a concussion because the Engadget team that has never played football before beat you real bad. The cool thing about this is that multiple students can belong in the same app. So for example, a coach could track all of his students to see who has had the most concussions, what the event was, how hard they were hit, and that can obviously be a big boon to medical decisions later on down the road. Are you a parent that feels guilty about all the games your kid is playing on your iPad? Well, fret no more, because for $149, you can buy the Fisher-Price Think and Learn Smart Cycle, and basically it just hooks up a cute little bike that is uh, sized for three-year-olds or older with an app on the iPad, and what kids can do is get on this thing and cycle their way into learning the alphabet. Whenever a kid gets on this game, it doesn't start over from the beginning, it actually picks up where they left off, so it's not one of those boring games where you have to go through level one again. No, this is better. Eventually, Fisher-Price wants to add in more functionality, more fun games like learning math. If you can make math fun, this thing aims to do it. So I don't know if this is really for the parents or the kids feeling guilty about screen time, but either way, this is pretty cute. Their demo has an adult-sized bike that they will not let me on, but don't worry, that one isn't for sale, so we're gonna pretend it doesn't exist. This kid-sized one is the real deal for $149. Don't drink and drive, friends. Oh, hi there. You just caught me checking the oil on my uh, Craftsman Smart Lawn. My app told me to do it. If you're putting the Big Haas Smart Mower from Craftsman into gear, you should also know how to maintain it. And that's the thing, a lot of people my age or older don't know how to maintain these things anymore. It's sort of a lost start, but that's where the app comes in. It'll send you push notifications if rain is coming. It'll say, hey, it takes you three hours to mow your giant lawn. You should probably get started now because it's gonna rain. It'll also show you when it's time to change the oil or check filters or change the blades on the mower. And even better, it'll tell you that it's time to do it, but then you can order the parts to do it within the app because it already knows the model that you own. And it also has videos, so it will walk you through step-by-step step exactly what you need to do to maintain this smart thing. Craftsman says if you have a 2010 model or earlier, you can buy a smart plug adapter and basically make your old dumb mower just as smart as the brand new models. They say it takes three minutes to install. And if you're messing with this situation already, you may as well get the smart plug. It's time to get pumped up. All right, guys, I need you to bear with me because this is not something that I can demonstrate or really talk about with personal experience, but I have enough friends to know this is a big deal. It is a first wearable breast pump. It's for boobs. Be cool, guys, don't get weird. This is the Willow wearable breast pump, and for $429, that's right, $429, it is kind of expensive. Come spring, people can sign up on their website and get this shipped to their house. There's actually two for that much money. The idea is, and I have seen this with friends, that a lot of modern day breast pumps are a whole situation. It's like a big bag, you have to haul it around. There are a whole bunch of parts. You have to plug it in, so you have to sit in a room by yourself somewhere with a plug and express milk if you're breastfeeding your baby. With this, people can put it on, and the idea is go about your life. If you're meeting someone for coffee, but it's about time that you express some milk because you're getting full, you can put these inside a stretchy bra and express milk while you go about your day. That's crazy. A few drawbacks. It is a bit thick, so the idea that you can just stick it inside your bra, yes, I mean, you've, that's a pretty big bra. It comes apart into three different pieces. 
it's this this first bit where all the mechanical suction-y business goes on. Um, the middle part is the flange that attaches to the breast, and then there's a circular donut-shaped little um, milk bag. Probably best of all, the app will let mom see how much milk is expressed from each breast. That way they don't have to be nervous about how much food their baby is getting. Breastastic. That's it for In Case You Missed It, day two at Pepcom. We saw breast pumps, we played fake football, and most of all, there were cheerleaders and fun good times.